Alrighty, here we have Rick Henderson being played on the Switch, courtesy of Asia Soft. So, we have options for the sound, gameplay, uh, and language options. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the screen flashes and the screen shakes and chromatic uh, aberration. Achievements, I love seeing in game achievements, especially on the Switch. It's pretty cool to see that. And we're going to start game. So we have standard endless mode, um, hard endless mode, boss raid mode, and tutorial. We're going to do standard endless mode. You can pick up to three pilots, or one of three pilots. So you've got um, Rick Henderson, balance mix of speed and shield. You have Ben X9, who is fast with a weak shield. And you have Thorax, which is slow with a strong shield. I'm going to play with Rick Henderson. He's his middle of the road. Uh, so this game plays similar to like an old school um, Gradius or, uh, or R-Type. Um, in the sense where you just start a level and you have uh, the task of... Um, just taking down these enemies and, uh, and going after the boss. So you have three different attacks. You've got the um, uh, energy attack here. You've got a rocket attack, and then you've got a uh, standard bullet attack. And then this attack, or the, um, the Y button, is actually a uh, cloning uh, or uh, a decoy button. Which is kind of nice. So you can have um, uh, enemies and bosses that have homing attacks. Um, they'll actually end up attacking your clone or your decoy rather than you. Uh, you can pick up uh, power ups as well. Um, that'll help to change your weapon. So we have a minigun. Now it's going to give me a more powerful bullet, uh, bullet attack. Um, each enemy is going to end up um, flashing a different color, um, and depending on the color flash, it depends on the type of damage you're doing to the enemy. Uh, rockets are really good against um, enemies that have strong shields. There's a boss, the first boss, Devastator. Whoa. I'm gonna... Oh, I was gonna clip myself. Can't yet. Um, I love the, uh, 16-bit art style. Uh, it very much feels like a, uh, Super Nintendo game from back in the day. Oh, I just died. Dang it, let's go ahead and restart. So the game does have a little bit of a slowdown here and there. Um, I've noticed there when you first started, um, and then when you changed, changed to a weapon, uh, there's a little bit of a slowdown. Alright, so my weapon's re, uh, restarted, or uh, reset. And you can get us uh, score multipliers, um, multiply, multipliers, excuse me, as well. Which are handy. The majority of what you're going to pick up outside of the weapon upgrades are just going to affect your... Um, your score. But overall, a really, really good, good game. Okay, so that gave me a new laser. It's, it's always neat to see 
Um, you know, what what that what the next power up's gonna give you, what kind of weapon you're gonna get. It's pretty neat. Actually, kill this guy this time. It would help if I had a upgraded rocket. Whoa. Got him. And then what's cool is after you beat the, the boss, you have an option to uh, choose an upgrade. Positive the health, but give double the points. 100% uh, score, 50% health. We'll have some steam from the time to time. Uh, we'll go ahead and do hologram last longer. Guys, it's hologram. Makes sense. Now on to level two. The music's okay. Um, it can give it a little bit uh, repetitive, but I again I really like the uh, art style in the game. And the uniqueness of the power-ups is nice. Definitely a game I'd, I'd recommend for a fan of uh, shooters. This is definitely a game to pick up. Let's see what this power gives me. Whoa. It's a laser with some kickback. <laughs> wow, that's some, that's, some, that's some kickback right there. I mean, it's powerful, sure, but I don't really care for the, for the bouncing around. Now I did turn off some of the uh, flashes uh, that will happen when you get hit, um, just because it, 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 it is kind of distracting. So um, if you don't like screen flashing, uh, you don't like chromatic effects, I definitely just show, turn this kind of stuff off. Not that the holograms are going to do much because, because oh, none of his attacks are homing. <laughs> All right, but that's going to look at uh, Rick Henderson, a uh, great um, tribute to games to game before it. I want to thank you for the opportunity. This game's a lot of fun. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.